we're just going to start my lipstick decluttering purging video. Um, just so you guys know, this includes all of my lip products. Like we're talking lip chapstick, lip gloss, lip treatment, lip exfoliator, lipstick, lip stain. All of my lipsticks are included in this. You won't see all of them because there are a couple that live in my purse and they literally live there. They never leave my purse. I had a rough time with this. Getting rid of lipsticks was really kind of tough for me. I am obsessed with lipsticks, blush, and bronzers, and those are the next three videos coming up. So I do want to let you guys know that I may not be getting rid of a lot of things in the next three videos. It's very tough for me. I know that sounds really, really pathetic and sad that it's tough and was hard for me. So anyways, long spiel over. Let's just jump right into my lipstick one. So just know I'm not going to be getting rid of a lot of lipsticks. I have a ton. I know it's a problem. Here are all my lip treatment items we have we have my favorite balms right here definitely these are going to be kept we have some elf exfoliating lip kit we have my favorite lip balm from CO Bigelow which is sold at Bath and Body Works I got them all when they were like two dollars so I have a stockpile of those we have my lip primer slash plumper and then just some other random lip balms which I will definitely be keeping all of these. Alright all of these items are my tinted lip balms like baby lips, um, my lip butters, the conditioning lip balms from e.l.f. and I'm, then there's like some NYX ones in here. Some of these I will be keeping, some of them I won't. This one's going to be tossed. This is from Seal Bigelow. It's really old. These are definitely keeps. These are the suede lips. A lot of people would argue that these are lipsticks, but they go on really sheer, so I do consider them a lip balm. I'll be getting rid of that lip butter. That's brown sugar and fig. I'll be getting rid of this one, which is gumdrop. Um, this is a really good one, but it's actually kind of old. It does have a fragrance to it, and when I bought it, maybe about almost two years ago it was on clearance so it was pretty old but if you are interested in a color that looks like this definitely get the cream supreme from mac which is called asian flower and it looks pretty much identical to this I've seen this baby lips i never really liked it and it's really old so that will just be tossed so this is sweet tart from the revlon lip butter collection I'm unsure about this color. I'm not really big on pink lips on me, and that's what this one gives me is some really nice pink lips, but I'm going to probably throw this in my purse and see if I start using it more often. If not, I'll sanitize it and give it to a family member. Okay, all of these are like my lip pencils or my lip liners. So this one will go through pretty fast. I'm pretty much going to keep all of these. Obviously going to keep these too. These are my dark lip pencils that I have. These are my e.l.f. lip liners that I just bought. So definitely going to keep those. These are my e.l.f. matte lip crayons, gonna keep those. This one is a really pretty nude. I'm gonna toss this into the maybe pile just because, like I said, it is a really pretty nude and I do like how matte it is. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to it. These were a limited edition, so you guys can't get these anymore. 
but I do see random ones pop up at my Walgreens from time to time, so definitely keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure why I have two of these. They're the exact same color. This is from the Lilac collection from L'Oreal. Um, I'm probably going to end up keeping one and giving the other one away. This is the red one from that same collection. I'm going to end up giving this one away. I have some other red crayons that I like better. These three items from Bite Beauty, definitely keeping. This is the red crayon that I like better than the L'Oreal one. And this is a lip crayon, and then this one is a lip liner. I will be keeping all three of these. Now, these are my lip paints. Um, I'm going to be giving away these two Milani ones. I really didn't like them. I just twisted them enough just to swatch them, so I'll be giving these to a family member. This one, same thing. I got this from an Ipsy. Really don't like it. Giving it to a family member. I'm definitely going to keep all of my melted lipsticks. Those are really nice. Um, I believe this one might be getting old, but I'm not sure. So this is going to go into the maybe pile. This is definitely a keep. And this is also in the maybe pile. I don't use it enough. Everything right here in the middle is my lipsticks. I'm just going to go through these really quick with you guys. Right, so these three lipsticks from Rimmel, I'm just going to be giving to a family member. Um, this is the old version, so I got them for like a dollar a piece. But honestly, I just got them because I thought they were getting rid of this collection. And these were the three colors I wanted to try. This is Let's Get Naked. This would be a backup of the one I have. Um, to nude or not to nude. This is Shimmer. I really don't like Shimmer. And then this one's actually pretty good. This is the Dexter No. This is Vintage Pink. It's actually really pretty. It's like a deep mauve color, but I'm going to be getting rid of it. Out of all my Milani lipstick, I'm going to be getting rid of these two. This is Hot Pink Rage and Uptown Mauve. These are both really pretty lipsticks, but I do have one similar that I like better in my collection. But I do think Milani makes the best drugstore lipsticks out there. And these will be just be given to a family member. Now these are some gorgeous nudes. These are from the Maybelline Nude Collection. I'm going to throw these in the maybe pile. I actually forgot I owned these. So I need to just make sure they don't look like concealer on my lips before I decide to put them in the giveaway pile. So they will be tossed in the maybe pile. These are my sample lipsticks. I'm just going to toss these in the maybe pile. Like I do like them. There are really pretty colors, but I've had them for a while, and it's just time to see if someone else can have some better use with them. I'm sorry if this keeps going in and out of focus. I know it's going to annoy most of you, but bear with me. I'm really trying to see if it's in focus. So now that I have sorted everything out, um... As you guys saw me sorting them, I sorted them into lip glosses, lipsticks, lip treatments, lip pencils, lip crayons, lip liners. I divided them all into sections like that. And then after that, I went through and decided what I was going to keep and what I wasn't going to keep. So the pile right here in the middle is what I am keeping. That pile right here is definitely toss all those are old or they smell funny or they are separating. That pile is my maybe pile. And this and this pile right here is my giveaway to family members pile. So and if you guys and if you guys were wondering, those lipstick holders are from the original Beauty Box website. I will have a link down below for you guys to go check them out if you want. I find that these are a little bit cheaper than the, um, what's the one everyone talks about? The Buy Allegory ones. They're a little bit cheaper by, I think, want to say two bucks. But I'm not sure what the shipping difference is between the two. But yeah, those are from the original Beauty Box and I absolutely love them. Yeah, so these are products that I'm tossing. Some of them you can see are like lip glosses, like that Revlon one's really old. Those Buxom ones are ridiculously old. Um, all these like lips, 
with glosses right here from Bath and Body Works. They actually, I think I'm allergic to them. The glitter causes pimples. This is a lip stain that's totally dried out. This NARS lip gloss stinks. It's disgusting. And then some of them I've just used so much that it wouldn't be right to keep. So now that you guys have seen the whole like process and stuff, I'm going to let you know everything that had taken place. Let's see. I had a total of 302 lip products. 302. That's ridiculous. But once again, that does include like treatments, everything you can put on your lips. That's what this list includes. I tossed 30. That is a ton. I'm sure there are a couple more in my collection that I could definitely toss. Um, like a couple of my Buxom lip glosses. Some of them are pretty old. They just don't smell bad yet. I'm just waiting for that to happen, for them to smell bad, then I'll toss them. Um, I'm gonna give away 56 of them. And then the maybes I had were nine, and we'll, we'll definitely talk about those in a second. And then I'm gonna keep 212. That number, when I realized I still had 212 lip products, I need to go to lip rehab. Like, seriously. So first, let's talk about the two nude lipsticks from Maybelline. Um, I have the Truffle Tease and Nude Lust. Nude Lust, I'm giving away. I already like chopped off the top and sanitized it. This was just not the right nude. It just wasn't the right nude. It was way too light for my skin tone, and my lips are highly pigmented, so I don't know. It just, like, my lips are highly pigmented, so when I put this on top of them, it made me look like a zombie from Walking Dead. Like, I had no lips. I was dead. It just didn't look good, so that's definitely just going to be given away. My boyfriend's little sister, she does also have friends that, you know, go through my goodie bag that I sent her. And one of her friends is a little bit lighter skin tone than her and I. Um, so hopefully that will be a good one for her. And then this is Truffle Tease. I really wanted to try to keep this one. I really, really wanted to try. But I just have some other nude lipsticks that I just, I like better than it. Like Bear It All, that is my number one nude lipstick. That is the one that is my soulmate. That's the one. Um, so this one, you know, I was just thinking like Ami, you're not ever really going to use it, so you just need to give it away. So I'm gonna have to chop off the top and then sanitize them. Let's see, my two bright lipsticks. This is the Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. I'm gonna end up tossing this one because I've used it. There's no way to sanitize it. Um, it is a pretty color, but truth be told, I have other bright lipsticks that I will always pick before this one. The formula in this is great. I do want to try other ones from this, you know, line from Milani, but you know, this one just wasn't working for me. And then, what the? And then, you know, there's this one from Lilac, from L'Oreal. And it's just, it's just too bright. It's too bright, it's too creamy, it, it bleeds. It just wasn't, it wasn't meant for me, maybe. My boyfriend's little sister will like it better than me, so this will be getting, I'll be getting rid of that one too. The same goes for La Matte. La Matte, like I said, this is a gorgeous nude. It is beautiful. I've already chopped off the top of this one and sanitized, but this was, it's beautiful. But it's a little bit too, I don't know. It's not the right nude for me. It's just not. It's just not at all the right nude. It's, um, I don't know, something in it just wasn't, it wasn't meant for me. Um, it's a little bit too brown. You, go, you know how, like, the 90s lip is coming back and everyone's into, like, the browns and the mauves and the, you know, kind of more of the 90 lip? Um, this is definitely a 90 lip, but it matched my skin tone too much. That, that's what I'm trying to say. It just matched my skin tone too much. You could tell I was wearing it, but my lips didn't look pronounced. When I wear lipstick, I want my lips to look 
pronounced. I don't want them to hide away as if no one can see them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this one did. I really tried to give this OCC lip tar. This is in Pretty Boy. I really tried to give it a try. Um, I really do love the OCC lip tar formula. It's really, really nice. It's really easy to use and I just love them. But hot pink is just not my color. I have one hot pink lipstick left in my collection. I think that's the only one I have. And it is the Kelly Yum Yum. And it's this one. And this is like oh, hot pink. I don't even know if I'm going to end up keeping this one either. But um, that's the only one I have left in my collection. So this one, I know my boyfriend's little sister is going to rock the heck out of this one. It's so freaking gorgeous. My Revlon lip butters, um, I'm over them. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm just over Revlon lip butters. Um, I've already chopped them off and sanitized them, but they are really gorgeous. The formula is nice. Um, I did end up keeping one, and that one is Red Velvet. This is actually probably one of my favorite fall colors. That's the one I did end up keeping, but I don't know. This is Wild Watermelon. Like I said, it's gorgeous, but if I'm going to wear, like, a tinted lip balm, I'm going to wear a Just Bitten lip balm from Revlon. They're more moisturizing. There's a staining power to them. So, yeah. And then this is Sweet Tart. Once again, it's a hot pink. I knew I was going to get rid of this one from, like, the get-go. Right when I said it's a maybe, I was like, this one's probably not going to work out because it's hot pink. Like I said, I don't like hot pink on my lips. Then the one item I am going to keep from the nine maybes is this Warm Me Up from Maybelline. This is a really pretty pinky, pinky brown nude. This, I feel like this would fall into the 90s category. I think I can see Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker rocking this in Sex in the City. So yeah, it's just really pretty. Um... Yeah. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and as always have a beauty filled day. Bye. And the next video will be a blush decluttering video. I didn't get rid of very much. So just, just letting you know.